Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, the Rota Palicka International Nail Artist and Educator here and today we are going to do a beautiful and easy summer design. You can have a little preview of it in here. So it is an elegant look, um, but also summery as well. I really enjoy creating those uh, beach shells and I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial and you learn something new as well. Let's start! I've got this beautiful design ready for you. So it's like a summer shell. Look at this uh, really beautiful, not over the top uh, design. And I really love the look of it. And I will show you how to recreate this look. So I've got some tips ready in here. And um, we will also use the 100, uh, 214 color. I think it looks absolutely uh, fantastic for it uh, with the drop of the black to make the background for the shell. Okay, so I'm just picking up a drop of this color on my mixing palette and drop of the black just to darken it a little bit. Uh, so we've got a nice background for the, for the shells. And then 151, which is orangey shade. I want to kind of um, do a nice mixture for the background of the shell. You don't have to mix it, it really properly. You want to kind of have those uh, messy, messy look to it. And what I'm doing is just painting those uh, kind of uh, wee messy lines in there. Can you make them kind of very irregular and then cook it? Very easy design to do it. Well, I think it looks quite nice and effective. And I'm using the watercolor brush from Neil Perfect. It's a slightly larger brush and it's awesome for like those kind of very quick designs. Okay, so another background. Like make sure you've got some parts which are sticking out more than the others, so they are not 100% exactly the same. Okay, and then just smudge it. This is the quickest way to create this kind of look. Then our next step is to apply some top coat. And then cook it. And of course, we are going to bling it up the set. I have read actually some comment that I should leave the foil design gel and paint on French gel for something else. To be honest, guys, like that, I cannot live without of those two products. Like you can create, like actually all my designs are based on those two products because they can be used for anything, like absolutely anything uh, for 3D looks like and really most extreme designs. Like I have been painting like and doing some uh, horses like and all sort of different actually don't have them to show in here but they're absolutely fantastic and oh actually cameraman shows me this one yeah i need to do the tutorial on this one as well and again it's a paint on french gel which is used on top uh, so we can get those kind of 3d look but that's what we are going to do it for this shells as well so it has 
many, many different uses. And you can use for French, you can use for absolutely uh, anything. So any kind of freehand painting uh, too. Now, the next step after we have created that is to paint some um, shell texture. So we've got the top cotton here. And now I'm going to use the Paint on French Gel as a 3D look to it. And uh, picking up the scoop of the product, like you can see, I've got blob of the product on the bottom of my brush. And then I'm just dragging it in. Okay, so the blob of the product. And then just drag it. Again, blob of the product. And then drag it in. So it is really quick and easy design. Okay, so one side is, is done. If you feel like you could add it more into some parts, just add it more. And then the other side. Gosh, my hand is shaking. But each time make sure you've got the sweet blob of the product. So this way we have created a beautiful shell. I'm just going to add a drop more into the middle one. And I have left some empty space so I can place the crystals there. And then cook it. A really great design for a summer. Unfortunately, it's hitting to the end, but I still want to show you a couple more of those uh, summery, summery designs. This would look absolutely stunning over like a like a pigment design as well, like the same stuff which I've got on my nails. You could also paint like a real shells on top of the uh, plain color. And I would use this paint on French gel as well to give them those kind of 3D look. So very quick design. Of course, the more time we spend on something, the prettier it looks. I actually don't like this line. So if you don't like something, just wipe it off. And do it again. If you're scared that you might like, uh, don't like more of those lines, uh, what you could do is give it a flash cure, which is like a couple seconds cure to the lines you are really happy with. And then even if you do the mistakes on the next ones, you can easily just wipe it off without of taking the ones you like. So now I have to just take off all this side and all because of the one line. Yeah, but I really didn't like it. I actually hurry up it too much. It is, and I hurry it up so much because my hands shake crazy, like really crazy today. So the quicker you paint, <laughs> the less shake is showing up. Okay, and then put it inside. And the last two. Okay. 
This technique is also used for uh, like a unicorn horn where I would wrap some pigment over it and that looks absolutely amazing too. Okay, so another shell and the last one. Okay, now I'm going to add a drop more product, like to create this blob in there. Drop more. And drop more. Actually, picking up the product straight from the pot is quite uh, handy, because you've got those uh, kind of blob <laughs> a more product at the end of your brush uh, which create the desired look like in here now And more. Okay, then once I'm happy with it, I can give it a cook. And we can do a couple of the gemstones, so they, the shell are going to look really, really nice. And that's the middle finger, isn't it? Yes, it is. So on the middle finger, I'm going to go with the biggest one. And for crystals applications, I'm going to use the Soko Base Gel. It is actually fab for the crystals application. Some old brush. Okay, apply the blob. And then some crystals. So this one looks really nice. It looks like um, amber. <laughs> And I thought it will be really pretty. And then I've got some gold decorations as well. Which has some stars and shells and all sorts of different things. I actually like this one. Okay, just turn into the right direction. Here we are. Yeah, I really like this one. So pick up more base gel. Place it in the right spot. It almost created like a wee chain. Um, but I'm happy with this look. I will add more crystals in a minute. Okay, now on this one we are going to do some brownie color. It's just so the design go And couple small ones. Okay, just move them into the correct place. I 
I actually like this uh, combination. On the pinky, we are going to go very simple, like we don't want to overdo it, the pinky. So for the pinky... They are actually the same. I've got some crystals here. And for the pinky... We will use some bigger one. And here... And then, yay, I quite like this one. But let's do a wee chain in here as well. Just so the star doesn't fly alone. <laughs> Actually, I don't like this one. I've got nicer one. Yay, this one is much prettier. My dog is snoring. <laughs> it's funny, like, he's... Uh, oh, he's so cute, sweet baby. And uh, he's eight and a half years old now. Maltese, like... And this is actually sad, because he's getting really old. Uh, but he's so just baby, like, each time when we record, and doesn't matter, like, before we was recording in the living room, now we're recording in this little studio, he always just follow us, like, and he, he would just uh, lie on the floor and um, stay with us all the time, doesn't matter, like, how long we record, he just stays here. Okay, I want uneven number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's his uneven number, so that's perfect. I think with the new art, those kind of uneven numbers looks better. And then this wee star, Cuketon. Actually, it's so pretty, this one. The, the gems exchange everything. Like I, I think like they just make the design so pretty. So we're missing some gems in here. And look guys, like such a small detail, but it's changing a lot, like absolutely a lot. Almost like a necklace. Now, because we are not going to apply top coat anymore, the top coat is done. I'm applying a decent amount of the base. Like I want the crystals to hold on really well into the base. And the paint on French gel is absolutely safe to be worn without of top coat. That's actually really pretty. I love this one now. It's a wee chain. Okay, on this one. And I think I liked it it's so much on the other one that I'm just going to add a couple more in here as well. So let's me find the base. Yeah, definitely just a couple more. And then we chain with something. I love playing with all sort of different crystals placement. Uh, you guys... This one is so pretty as well. 
I know I repeat myself like but I'm so happy like finally after a year or maybe even two years like because through the entire pandemic I have uh, just to give you more videos guys I have been wearing uh, two different hands and this is the first time I'm wearing uh, two hands done the same almost the same the same way and I'm so happy um, I was like no, I will to do two different ones, but it looks like I might be going out. <laughs> it have been my birthday a couple of days ago, so uh, I really feel like I'm desperate for a proper night out and a bit of craziness on a dance floor. So I wanted my nails to look nice and pretty. One, two, three, four, five. Five will do for this one. And here we are going to use this shell. Which way? Okay, get them into nice line. Almost there. I am happy. I am crooked. And the last one, and then I can show you all finish it look. So on this one we will go with the brown crystal as well. I should have one more. I do. So normally I do those chains with the caviar beads, but I actually quite like with the small gems as well. Oh, and the gem picker, guys, is going to be available soon on our website as well. Plus we are going to add a couple more brushes. We have been busy uh, designing a few, few new brushes for you. Um, so I have tested quite a few, like an, the gem picker you guys have asked me actually a wee while ago and I wasn't sure like if you would be interested, uh, but then science quite, uh, we decided to add it into the collection as well. So it will be available very soon on our website, one, two, three, four, five, which is www.dorotapagitska.com. Actually, most of the products which I'm using are available and there if not i'm giving the links in the descriptions of the video uh, for the different brands as well okay i'm going to cook it because i want to add a couple more on this one but let me show you this one which is ready so this one is completely ready and i'm just using a tiny bit of the uv cleanser to clean the inhibition layer from the paint on french gel so the paint on french gel the longer you cook it uh, the less inhibition layer it has. It has very little inhibition layer. Uh, so the first one is ready. I can put it into our display board. Okay, let's be neat. Sorry guys, this time is time. Uh, this part is always time consuming, but I don't want to rush it. Because I do rush quite a lot. Okay, the last couple of gems. <laughs> okay, and the other side. I actually really like this set. I mean, imagine doing it on the client and first of all, you have done those couple brown lines. They must have think, oh my goodness, what's she creating? And uh, I actually like doing it to my clients. Uh, they, they, they're not scared as much. Um, it's usually the new clients which, uh, which don't know that sometimes we have to make some ugly things so they turn pretty. 
Um, but the regular clients, they kind of know that uh, even if I'm painting something funny to start with, it will turn out into a nice and pretty design. Okay, this one is ready as well, so I'm just going to remove this inhibition layer. And stick it in. So nice, even just those three of them. Oh, so summery. Anyway, I hope guys, you, you do really like them the same way I do. Uh, I feel like they really turn it out so pretty, uh, considering that when you look at the beginning of the video, painting those couple's funny brown lines doesn't look attractive at all. And the last one. And then I show you the zoom it look because I really like how it looks. Actually, I, this should be. Oh, okay, it's fine. Just keep it this way. I really like how the things look when they zoom in on the nails. So that's how it looks from the distance. Yeah. And then when we go closer, I love it like because you can see all different texture and different angles. Really nice and pretty. Like go even closer. Why not? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sending you glittery hacks and bye for now.